today in this PSLE 2015 Paper 2 question series. I'll be going through question 5. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions as many students like the skill. When students meet up with really tough questions, they easily give up. Instead, what you should do is actually analyze the question one more time, underline or highlight the key information, and you should understand the question and identify the key concepts that the questions are testing you on. So, in this way, it will be much easier to solve the question. So, let's jump straight into question 5. So, let's take a look at question 5. So, let's read the question first, okay? A player has to play a total of 4 games in round 1 of a competition. So, the scores for Chong's first 3 games are shown below. Okay, so they have shown us his scores for the first 3 games. They have not shown us his scores for the 4th game, okay? So, let's read the second part. Chong will qualify for round 2 if his average score for the 3 of the 4 games is 25 or more. What is the lowest score Chong must get in the 4th game to qualify for round 2? So this question is awarding us with 2 marks and this question is testing us on the concept of average. Okay, So let's highlight the key information first. So a player has to play a total of 4 games in round 1 of a competition. So the scores of Chong's first 3 games are shown below. So this part is not as important. Okay, So Chong will qualify for round 2 if his average score for 3 of the 4 games is 25 or more. Okay? So this is a really important part. Okay? So the question is asking, what is the lowest score Chong must get in the 4th game to qualify for round 2? Okay? So this is what they're asking. Okay, so let's take a look down here. So, they have said that we must get a score of 25 and above, the average score of 25 and above for 3 or 4 of the games. So, it can be a combination of game 1, 2, 3. It can be a combination of game 1, 3, 4. It can also be a combination of games 2, 3, 4, and more okay okay so this is um, what they are asking us okay so since they have already given us three numbers let's try them out and see if it works so if these three numbers work and gives us a 25 as the average we must get a zero as the lowest possible right we should get a zero as the lowest possible. So let's um, try this and see if we get a lowest possible number and an average of 25 and above. Okay, so first we take 23 plus 21 plus 24, we get 68. Okay, so always remember to find average, we take the total divided by the number. So the total is 68 and we divide by the number which is 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so we divide by 3 which we will get 22 holes and 2 third. But is this the answer? Is this more than 25? But it's not more than 25. So this can't be the answer, right? So let's, we must try an alternate method. Okay? So let's see over here. So if you want to find the lowest possible score among the three, you need to have two of the highest scores in order to get the lowest score. Okay? So, the two of the highest scores are the first game 
and the third game. Okay? So, in the first game, we get 23. And in the third game, we get 24. In the second game, we only get 21. So, it's not as high. So, that's why I choose the first and the third game. Okay? Now, we just need to um, find the total if our base is 25. So, I'm going to put our base as 25 as the average. You know why? Because if we put the base as the minimum average, we'll get the lower possible score. If it's more than 25, like if we get 26, if we put the base as 26, we get a higher, uh, a little bit higher average. So, it's best to find the lowest score by putting it at the base form. Okay? So, I find the total of the three of the four games. Okay? So, the, the three games are the first game, the, the third game, and the fourth game, okay? So, in order to find total from average, you take the average times the number. So, in this um, case, the number is one game, three, and four. So, there are three games, okay? So, you take 25 times three, which will give you 75 as the total, okay? So now we find the av now we actually take 23 plus 24 because those are the two highest ones, right? So we get a number of 47. So when we take 75 minus 47, we can actually get the lowest possible score for the fourth game, right? So 28 is our answer. So we get 75 minus 47, which is equal to 28. So 28 is our answer. So it's not actually zero now. The answer is 28. Okay, so I think you're a bit unclear on how I got this total, the, big, the higher numbers, and how I found the lower number. Okay, so for an example, okay? If I have, so this is just for an example, okay? So if I have a total of 50 as the score, okay? What, uh, and I have the two highest scores, which is 15 and 25. So the third one, the third one should be the lowest score of them all, right? Right? So it is, so it's actually... 10 over here you can do your calculation using your calculator okay but if you still don't understand you could take if you want to find the highest possible number you just do the opposite you take the total minus the lowest possible so you can get the highest so this is how it works um, in the reverse and the normal way okay so I hope you understood this part Okay, so I hope you have understood my explanation for question 5. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video.